Hello there, this is Alex's 189 back again with another tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be going off a quick request somebody made on an older video, and that's how to extract just the textures from PS2LS. It's very easy to do, so this is going to be pretty quick. But, um, yeah, it's easy enough to do. So, just load up your Plantside 2LS. Um, program and load up your assets. Um, next what you want to do is um, on this little filter here with the infinity sign change that to about 100 or a thousand whatever number you want as long as it isn't infinite and then click on the top asset then scroll down all the way to the bottom shift click the asset at the end and that will highlight all of the assets now this will extract every single file from the game files and if you have a fairly slow system it will take a while um, it will also take up a lot of space yeah it will take up a lot of space so um, be prepared for that but most by the end of this most of this stuff will be uh, deleted anyway alright so next just click on the extract selected packs button and then put it in your desired folder the same thing we did before, so I'll just go for uh, my documents, uh, raw libraries, documents, I'll go in that one, uh, go for that one, PS2, um, and I'll just put mine in wherever. So you just choose a folder and put it in there. Um, I'll quickly load up mine. Yeah, it will take a little while to extract, so be prepared for that. Um, okay, and I've just loaded up mine now. This is one I did a while ago, and as you can see, it's not even all loaded yet. There's a lot of files in here. And I mean a lot. Um, so we'll just let it quickly load up the entire folder. As it does. Oh, what's this? Oh, a meso. Loading, lo ooh. What's this? Let's make the font a bit smaller so I can read it. Ooh, XML files. Okay. I remember XML files from my modding days for Star Wars Empire at War. They were fun. Alright, just let it load. Still loading. Still loading. Oh, while it loads, you might as well sort by type. Because we're going to need. We're going to be extracting the um, textures out of this folder, which are saved in a DDS format. Just let it load. 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 Okay. Once it's loaded, just type in the search box on Windows just dot DDS and that'll basically highlight all the textures. Okay. Now in the view tab, just sort by type. Now I'll give all the textures just there you go. Now for the sake of performance, let's just highlight them all. Every last one of them. There's a lot of them. I know there's a lot of tiles. We'll take those out later. Uh, so many icons. 
So many screenshots. Um, for those of you wondering, the Esme tiles and the Indar tiles, those are the maps. So they're actually used in the uh, minimap. That's what those are for. Alright, here we go. So just highlight them all. Press Control X on your keyboard to cut it. Or you can copy if you wish. Then we'll put it into a new folder. Again, if you're chosen, I'll call it text for textures. And paste it in. It'll take a while. Because there's a lot. And once it's um, copied, uh, just delete the files you don't want, like the Amorish tiles and Indar tiles, per or in the billboards. Personally, I don't use those, so you can move those to another folder and just organize it through that way. Um, but it's up to yourselves. And to get the um, ground textures, it's easy enough, as you can see here. You see, you got Amorish dirt. Um, Rock, road, uh, skip over the tiles. You got some um, camos here, like arid forest. Um, those are billboards, so you can, you know, have billboards. Um, there's some effects as well, like bullet fin glow. Um, There'll be some other, there's some other effects as well. It's just a case of looking through it to be honest and see what there is. Um, try and find another. Uh, it's got, and you have to got some decals. Um, a lot of decals. A massive amount of decals. Just trying to find some dirt texture, and I'll show you how to apply that. It's easy enough. Ugh, icons. There's just so many. Same again, you can just sort it into folders like I all the icon textures in one folder, all the ground textures in another. It just takes time and it's, I don't need to make a tutorial on how to do that. Oh boy. Like all these images, I don't have a clue what they are. So I'm just skipping over them. So many. Alright, here we go. We'll go for Indar Dirt Packed Dark, okay? It's easy enough, just uh, open up, we'll just open up 3ds Max real quick. Um, make a quick plane. There you go. Materials, open the material editor. Uh, there we go, we'll close that. Uh, where are we? Indar Dirt. I'm just going to move that on to my other screen. Why is it here all day? Um, if I end our dirt rubble. And. Um, pack dark. And normal. Alright, so I see diffuse, specular, and normal. It's easy enough, just make a standard material. Uh, 
I would render them, but all the textures will take a while. I've got a Vindicure 33. Uh, there we go. And that's it. That's how you get uh, ground textures into uh, 3ds Max. If from PS2, and you can rescale these. Like if you just open up the UVW editor. So if you go and modify, unwrap UVW, select all the polygons, open the UV editor, and just scale it up. It'll, uh, there you go, kind of zoom out a bit. This is the method I used in my most recent video, which is Crash, I believe it is. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'm quite chuffed with it. Yeah, that's basically how you import ground textures into 3ds Max. Um, there another thing you can do is set up your material for the ground plane to um, have multiple materials for different brushes so you can actually paint materials onto it but to do that you need to um, if I just change this to say 40 you'll need to have a lot of polygons for a start and a lot of textures and it really lags your viewport so I try not to use that as much but it is a good technique to making custom terrain and once it's made it looks pretty cool but yeah that's how you could paint textures onto a uh, ground plane. Uh, there are tutorials for that all over YouTube. I don't need, I don't need to go ahead and make one because it is easy enough to do. Um, and there are some really good tutorials out there for that. That's how I learned it anyway. But yeah, so that's how you extract just the textures. You have to extract every asset and then single the textures out. It's easy enough. Just like dot DDS, DDS in a search box, and that's it. And then just organize it at your own discretion. And yeah, that's about it. So, thanks for watching.